Hello everyone, I've been released from the basement to help with this devlog today. Uh, we've got some exciting news about improvements to our game as usual, but there's also some interesting news for those interested in trying out our game. Stay tuned! The first thing we want to talk about is we are participating in Steam Next Fest in this June. For those who don't know, it's basically a celebration on Steam where a lot of upcoming games share free demos and stuff like that that you can get well engaged with and have fun with. In our demo, we will release a subset of the mechanics that we will release in the real version. So what does include is you will not be able to interact with the harbor. The harbor is something that is very core to the late game, but we want to give you an early game experience. So you will be able to make routes from your refinement stations to your uh, forges and make some basic items. It will give you a core overview of the basic mechanics of the game. It will also help you to get started on your blacksmithing journey. Like I said, Steam Next Fest is in June and we will be releasing very shortly after Steam Next Fest. So do make sure you wishlist us on Steam and play the demo to give us feedback. But to make that demo worth playing, we of course made some improvements. One of those William actually made. I did. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about the road improvements, like the way you draw roads. I did. Like that. Uh, maybe you can tell everyone a bit more about how you implemented that. So the old road strategy was well, old and it had its flaws. It was hard to draw straight roads between two points that were further than two, three squares away. What I've done is overhauled it and now you've th you have three ways to draw roads. The main way to draw roads is now by selecting a point and going to another point on the field. And I'll draw two straight lines connecting those two points, a vertical and a horizontal one. This will allow you to quickly and easily make larger patches of road between two different buildings and it's a very simple and easy way to well create your road system. If you prefer the free drawing form of the original system you can hold a modifier key to well freely draw your roads however you like them. And then lastly there's a new modifier key as well that allows you to quickly and easily draw rectangles of roads. So for example a town square. With this, I hope to improve the UX for everyone playing our game by allowing them to easily and quickly draw roads without having to fight the system. So, of course, the roads have been overhauled, um, but the workers that are walking on it, you know, well, they're starting to get antsy about not getting paid, so... Yeah, indeed, workers now have a fixed price. So every day at 8 o'clock in the morning, they ask their, well, wage. Because you wouldn't be happy if you wouldn't get paid, would you, William? Anyway, the main reason we implemented this is, of course, so you have a loose condition. It wouldn't be very fun if there weren't any stakes at all. That also means you're, of course, encouraged to make efficient routes now because workers actually cost money and you want to make sure they are as efficient as possible with their time so you can make the most profit out of your employees as possible. Something that works in real life as well. So, I heard you were looking for some lightning around? Of course, we've added, as always, more translations, but we've also made it more user-friendly by allowing you to quickly swap your languages and on the first launch have a prompt come up to ask you what language you would like to have. On top of that, we also reworked a bit of our safe system. It was already working, kinda, but out of sheer laziness, we had some bugs. We fixed those and it should all be fine right now again. Furthermore, graphics, we've worked on graphics presets. You, there's now one, more than one graphics preset to use and they actually impact the game and the performance in a good way or a bad way depending on how high you put it. We made some changes to our item inputs. So now you can select, for example, that you don't want an item to be put inside an item input, and you can easily select new items because we auto scroll to the item you have selected and so on. UI is also much more scalable right now, which, which is good for the people who have an ultra wide or you want to play the game on a Steam Deck. And last but not least, we also did some validation, meaning that since you can change names of uh, buildings, routes and so on. We now, well, check that it's a valid name so you don't enter empty names and get very confused in your UI. We fixed more bugs than we added this time. We <laughs> swear. And we also did some work on tooltips. We added a whole bunch of them so you can more easily understand how certain things interact with each other and what they mean to hopefully give all of you guys a better understanding of the game. Of course, the work's not done yet. Uh, there's still a lot to do, especially for the demo. Um, so what's next? Well, 
On one hand, we're going to finalize terraforming for random world, so that if you select a random world, you're guaranteed to be able to play it instead of it having a chance of not being actually playable, uh, which means we'll have to find perfect positions to put certain buildings and to terraform the area to make sure the buildings actually fit and you can draw routes from it. And last time we said we will be working on material research that has been postponed for a bit. Uh, so we hope to do it by next devlog because now our focus mainly on UI, uh, UX improvements and also to prepare for the demo we are preparing to launch. But material research will not be part of that demo yet. And that about wraps this up for this devlog. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. As always, I see Marnix looking at me very angrily. I probably have to say things like subscribe, like, things like that, because yeah, he's, he's nodding yes, so do that, please. Uh, if you like this, we make a lot of content, not just about our own game, but also some tips and tricks we learn alongside making our own game. So if you're interested in that, be sure to do it. And we hope to see you next time. Bye.